This is the presentation for the paper Hand Painter, 3D Sketching in Way Out with Sand-Based Physical Proxy. My name is Xing Zhang, and I will be presenting the paper on behalf of my co-authors. 3D Sketching in Way Out enables users to create 3D virtual objects immersively. However, previous studies show that medial drawing may lead to inaccurate sketches due to the lack of physical support. To evaluate the inaccuracy of 3D sketching, Symbiosis Sketch was proposed, which combines sketching in MIDI-L and sketching on a digital tablet to create detailed 3D designs in AR. More recently, while sketching adopted similar approaches, using a tracked pen to draw on a tablet in VR to cope with inaccurate 3D sketching. Aimed at those difficulties, our goals are as below, enable a similar switch between 2D sketching and 3D sketching, achieve accurate sketching in the virtual environment, offer physical support without requiring additional handheld devices. The main contributions of our work encompass the following elements. We performed a formative study to compare hand-based proxy and tablet-based proxy. Secondly, we introduced a new idea of hand-based proxy for VR sketching. Finally, we conducted a comprehensive quantitative evaluation. In our formative study, the subjects were required to sketch in three modes, sketch on a tablet, sketch in mid-air, and sketch on a hand. We found that users agree both sketching on a tablet and sketching on a hand performed better than sketching in mid-air. Meanwhile, compared with sketching on a tablet, most users prefer to sketch on a hand if the working time is over 30 minutes. This might be related to the figure issue, because most users felt fatigued easily after drawing on a tablet. Based on the findings of the formative study, our system allows users to sketch in mid-air and sketch on a hand-based proxy without holding any devices. Besides, our system also supports deforming, moving, sweeping, rescaling, undoing, deleting, color when wet setting, cutting, editing, and duplicating operations. Using a hand as a canvas brings several problems. For example, the size of canvas hand causes a limited workspace for drawing. To expand this region, we allow users to paint the canvas with a paint gesture. Secondly, the positions of fingertips are not offered by most digital gloves. Thus, we apply a calibra calibration step to calculate the position and orientation of each fingertip. What's more, our hand is not as flat as the tablet. Aimed at this issue, our trigger volume was generated from the pen part and finger part separately. Finally, it is challenging for users to make the canvas hand stable during sketching. Thus, our system offers real-time projection, dynamic uneven resampling, and Kalman filtering to beautify strokes. To investigate effectiveness and the usability of our system, we conducted a user study in which we compared the performance in terms of drawing time, overall accuracy, and robustness. Twelve volunteers were recruited to sketch in three modes, sketch on a tablet, sketch on a hand, and sketch in mid-air with Google Tilt Brush. Our task is, in is including drawing a perfect 2D circle five times, join a 2D straight line to connect to virtual points five times, and join a four-step ladder once every five minutes. In the link task, the results created by sketching on both a tablet and a hand were more accurate than results created by Google Tilt Brush. When dealing with the circle task, sketching on a hand lets the subjects achieve better results than two other modes. We also found that the ladder created by sketching on a tablet owned strokes with massive start and end points, while for sketching in mid-air, it tended to generate a 3D ladder with poor connections. Finally, we observed that sketching on a hand owned higher scores than two other modes in functionality, flexibility, and system usability with significant differences. As the figure shows, a gallery of drawings generated by novice users with hand painter indicates the exp expressiveness of our system and the intuitiveness of two-handed interaction in VR sketching. In future work, we look forward to exploring hand-based sketching without digital gloves and 3D sketching on more general physical surfaces. Thanks for watching.